Welcome back, babes. Welcome back to the great things that I draw. Hello, we are here for another week, okay? I'm happy to see you again. I'm happy that you're seeing me again. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, welcome back. <laughs> there is no board tonight that is done. So, uh, um, there's none of that going on. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like there should be something more that I should be saying. So, let's just get into it. I hope you've been well, okay? I hope that you've had a great week until now. I hope that you stayed hydrated. It is hot outside. And I mean, honestly, I love the area that we live in right now simply because today, it was beautiful while the rest of Texas was burning up. And maybe even in Dallas, we over here, we were cool at least. Now, 45 minutes away, I don't know how they was faring, but it was nice over here, okay? It was a breezy day. There, and even tonight, we have dropped down into 79 degree weather. Do you know, do you know how long it's been? since we've seen 70 anything in this piece i'm i'm just thrilled i'm thrilled i'm happy i cannot wait well i can wait until the fall and winter but baby the first day of cold anything i am going outside and i'm just gonna twerk in the snow because yes but so we're back i hope you all have been well in all seriousness and that if you started back school good luck to you i hope that this year is a blessed year for you seriously i hope like your curriculum isn't too hard and you know if you're in college man hopefully well depending on if you're doing four or seven years i did four years but even if you you're doing seven years or longer you got this take it a day at a time okay eat your meals breakfast lunch and dinner i can't tell nobody to go to bed early because i i don't really know what a sleep schedule was and i think in college in general if i was lucky i saw 1 a.m but most of the times i was up to like two three and four rushing out the door to get to the classes so i could get some passes like some passing grades i i had to make it rhyme anyways good luck to you this year um and yeah like may god be with you may he protect you may he bless your studies and your classes in your mental because college or school in general even outside of college school is rough okay and even like i am 26 i graduated in 2018 from and it is 2023 from 18 to now it's a different ball game okay like i got nieces and nephews going to school and i'm like lord be with them too and i'm the little babies because it's just a different world out there but remember no matter what anybody says what you bring to the table is enough you are special you are amazing and don't be afraid to chase your dreams i'll get into that more as i draw but don't be afraid to chase your dreams this is your life and you need to live it for yourself if you went through i okay okay we're gonna before i get into my spills i'm gonna at least start drawing first so tonight i actually already know I kind of already know. I was pondering before this. So, tonight, is that the one? Yeah. I want to draw wisdom. So, whatever you think wisdom is, excuse me, whatever pops up in the recesses of your brain, that is what you draw. Rules! Here are the rules. You got to be nice to your work. You gotta be really nice to your work, okay? You have to support yourself, believe in your work. Um, you have to say one positive thing about your work. Uh, if you cannot, if you are down on yourself, if you are just like not satisfied with your work, 
you got to do a song and dance acapella, okay? And somebody got to see it to know if you did it or not, all right? Thankfully, I have not been in that category, which I, I'm. it's a great thing. It's a great thing because, you know, if I sing and dance, I want that to be because I choose to, not because, like, <laughs> I'm down on my look about my drawings. But those are our rules. Be kind to yourself um, and just love your work. So comment now what you thought wisdom was or what you think wisdom is um and yeah get ready for some soft music get ready for the vibes okay also i don't quite know now so part of me wants to do like extended videos with like more music in the background especially the more i create beats and play with them and stuff but because like the the channel is still growing i don't really know yet what i want to do so please comment if you would like and tell me if you would like longer videos like i guess not longer videos but like longer segments of the music or if you want me to just kind of keep it short how it is now because my thought process is to like create like a little chill atmosphere nothing longer than like 45 minutes or to an hour but if i pushed it that long my thought process would be to have the parts where the music is playing a little longer that way if you are watching along and drawing or you know you're doing something else and you just want to listen to the beat well you can just listen to the beat without me you know overlapping it so we're just gonna see how it goes together let's get this started While I'm thinking about it and drawing this out, uh, my best friend, my sugar cookie and I, we had a talk, right? Because I was going to tell you guys what she chose, what she said. Castlevania is where she would be staying. <laughs> She's repping Castlevania. And we were giggling because I was like, same, <laughs> same. Okay. Hello. This is what I have so far. Yee.
Okay, after some technical difficulties, we've started, we've stopped, we've started over. That's the new version, okay? So, your question for the week is... to completely go dark like the sun falls it stops shining it is just pitch black in the earth who would you want beside you and why if it was just pitch dark it's pitch black in the world who you who you keep it in your corner honestly that's kind of scary to think about but i mean who? oh 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 scratch that scratch that scratch that since we're making it scary. Well, I'm going to have to do a lot of these for October. If the sun is still dark, if the sun crashed and burned and that was it, there was no more sunshine, it was just pitch black on the earth, you hear a knock on your door. Just a... And you're like, who is it? You know? I mean, are, are you going to, first of all, yeah, are you going to ask who it is? Like, you know, are you going to be like, oh my goodness, who is this? Or are you just not going to say anything? And if they responded, if the person responded that they were like your best friend, are you going to take a chance and let them in? Or are you going to keep my side in the dark? Oh, that is even more terrifying to think about because like if the sun falls I cannot see you and if you know what my best friend's voice sounds like then I'm just not I mean how would anybody else know to get to your house ah, that is such a crazy so let me let me know what you think let me honestly think about this because I don't want my best friend being like excuse me more let me let me think about this Okay, so if like the sky had fallen, right? And like the world 
was just dark. If I heard a knock on a door and they said that they were my best friend, honestly, what I would do is I would ask something like that I know only she would know. So like, okay. So like, I've told my best friend things that nobody else knows. Like, not even other friends I've had. I think the only other person who knows more about me than Sugar Cookie is my actual mom. They are like right there. They are the only ones who have that information on me. Because um, I feel like she has kind of she has earned the right to you know know about me in that sense so if she could tell me the answer to the things i ask her then yeah like she, she come if she knows the answers but if she don't know the answers i'd be like go home try it again you're not getting in here and i would hope that she would do the same thing if it was me because no i am not about to get caught up like that okay i watched scary stories of you tell in the dark It is time to color in. This has kicked my butt. Okay, so. <sighs> so. I feel like if you have went to school and you've done what your parents asked you to do and you didn't give them grief and you were a good son a good daughter all the shebang then you're, when you go to college you are allowed to chase your dreams and don't let people tell you oh you can't do it or oh that job doesn't pay good or oh you'll never amount to nothing with that because l l here is the harsh truth about it all and i've said this before too just because you go to school and you get these big degrees and what have you that, that is not always a guarantee that you will get a good paying job. There are a lot of people in the world with college degrees, great college degrees, and they can't even get a call back. And what is so crazy about it is that even I was told that like, people like the fbi you know and like police and like nasa they ask for people with music degrees because of how we are trained you know and like how we basically have to earn our degree it's really complex so you know people will hire us based off our degree <laughs> um 
And even outside of that, I was told like, oh, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't become like a music major because, you know, like musicians, like that's not a practical job to be a musician. You know, you would do better like being an English teacher or a nurse or why you want to go to school to be a nurse, you know, or, you know, everybody in our family is nurses and why don't you want to be a nurse? First of all, I don't want to be a nurse because I don't like, I don't like blood. I don't like, I can barely stand seeing my own blood before I want to faint. There is no way in this world I could handle another patient and like their blood. I they'd have to put me on a stretcher okay with the patient and then i don't i don't want to be them you know they went to school for nursing because that's what they wanted to do i did not want that life for myself or i would have been a nurse like i would have went to school for that but i remember i had a lot of trials and tribulations like when I announced that I wanted to go to school to be a musician and I don't know I I, I want to say that I've talked about her before on this channel but my my dad's mom sweet as she can be like rest in peace lady I miss her terribly she was a blind piano player and she played for her church she played for his churches you know the whole shebang but she did not let people tell her like what she could and couldn't do you know or like that music wasn't for her because that's what she loved to do and I never could understand why she forced me in choir as much as she did or to sing as much as she did but come to find out her mom so yes my great-grandmother she was also a singer she was a jazz singer on that side and even on my mom's side they are so talented like they are great singers my mom was singing earlier and I was like serenade me baby girl because we love to hear it but you know a lot of people did not understand why i wanted to be a musician you know like why i would wait to them i was wasting my time you know and all this negative stuff revolving around what i wanted for my life and i just i knew what i wanted for my life you know and even knowing what i know now going through everything i've went through like I still hands down would be here I don't I don't want any other job you know or like well not any other job but like I don't want any other degree this is the degree I want I am happy with the fact that I am a vocal major like I am very happy that I chased music there was nothing like it there was experiences that I had that I wouldn't have gotten had I not been, you know, a music major. Like the orchestra performances that I seen, the symphonies that I saw play. I even got to go to a ba ba banjo concert. Who does that? Banjo, banjo, okay. And, you know, learning what I did learn and I got to, you know, meet like the San Antonio Boys Choir, you know, I got to be on PBS for a church service or like a, a Christmas performance. You know, I got to sing in these beautiful chapels, all right? I got to work on like Johannes Bach. I got to work on their stuff and Mozart and just learning about music, you know, and making my first ever song in music class. There's nothing that compares to it it really is it was such a surreal experience i remember the first time i ever got on the stage to sing because i did not know that you had to like i didn't know that 
that was a thing. I don't know what I thought I was going to be doing and why I thought that I wasn't going to have to perform. But the first time I ever got on stage to perform for my peers, I could have ran out of there. Like I, I wanted to beeline for the door. I was extremely nervous. My voice was shaking. I didn't know who to look at. Okay. And then it didn't really help because I am very much awkward around the opposite sex and I caught myself having crushes and baby let me just say that was throwing me for a loop um I wanted to run away screaming and crying possibly throwing up too because I was just a wreck I was a natural wreck and y'all it was rough <laughs> that was one of the roughest experiences ever in my life but we got over it okay like we got better at it and by the time all was said and done i was performing at my freaking graduation singing a cappella by myself and you know you just you don't get experiences like that unless you push through and you chase your dreams it was nerve-wracking okay I don't think I had a single performance where I didn't feel like I wanted to cry afterwards. But it was just, it was great. It was beautiful. So I shared that story just to say, you know, you chase your dream and you live your life and you do what you want to do if it's not hurting you or the people around you and it's really going to better you even if other people can't see the vision that's okay like you know as long as you see the vision as long as it makes you happy because nobody wants to go to school and nobody should be forced to go to school for these years upon years doing something that they don't even want to do something that's gonna make them miserable in the end you know like no you you deserve to be happy you deserve to chase your dreams and find yourself because college you're just a big kid and you're still finding yourself what you like what you dislike you know where you want to be where you don't want to be that college is just high school 2.0 okay that's really what it is. And I'll never forget, like my freshman and sophomore year, when I first ever declared music as my major, because you know you can you can go in like change it or whatever um i was talking to these people i i don't remember their names or anything like that but i remember this conversation because one of the girls i was talking to she was a she was going to be a trainer and like work on I, there's another name for it i'm gonna have to look it up because i can't think of it right off the name but she was basically her major was like dealing with trainings and medicine and you know taking care of the players and stuff like that and um she was saying like oh yeah i wanted to be a music major but you know it's not practical and you know i i realized i couldn't get paid for it and stuff like that and i was like oh okay then cool i mean i i suppose you know and and she was like i wish i she was she did say she wish she would have stuck with it but she was just worried that like she wasn't going to get a job after college and that is a legit concern to have but once again you can't you don't ever know what opportunity god is going to have for you you know like you don't this life itself is so crazy you don't ever know what's going to happen you know it just it's it's a mystery you can think you have your life all planned out all figured out everything is gravy everything is where you want it to be and it's not it just does a 360 on you and it changes so 
you know, yeah, she was saying that. And then I met this guy, same thing. He was like <laughs> in business management and accounting and all that jazz. And, you know, he wanted to be a musician, but once again, it wasn't practical. Like it wasn't real. And then even at one point I wanted to double major because I love music, but I also wanted to be an English major. And I thought that it would be really cool to have those go hand in hand. But I I had too many courses, too many um, music courses. Like every month, I was like, not every month, every semester, I was maxed out with like 18 credits. I could barely do anything else and like it was so bad that the year I was graduating there was a whole discrepancy like about my credits and thing like like classes that I needed to take and I was like I could call her name out now but my director's name was Elizabeth and I was like Elizabeth you better fix this because I am graduating like I will burn it down I will burn this place to the ground I did not struggle and slave away for this no 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 but I mean they got it well and like even I believe it was my junior year no my sophomore year I was asking could I become like you know like could I double major or could I declare English as my minor and we thought at the time that I would be able to but like I said it was too many credits I couldn't hold down so I think it's something like if you go over 18 credits per semester they like charge you extra and like I say I was already at 18 credits and like there was so many music credits that we had extra credits when it was said and done like <laughs> i think i walked away with like 42 credits or something like that uh after one i don't know i don't re quite remember but i remember it was a lot and i was side eyeing my teacher like how dare you even give me this much stuff to do okay like i just uh, me, being, being a music major was it was tough work, guys. babes pencils down pencil out down okay so you're ready this is wisdom isn't she beautiful all right now let me explain so i was reading proverbs like two months ago sorry gang my legs so i was my legs i was reading proverbs about two weeks ago and one of the verses i read said in the beginning wisdom helped the lord frame the foundations of the world wisdom was referenced as she i did not know this i did not know that wisdom was a woman okay and that just that did it for me okay that tickled me pink and so i've been wanting to draw a series of like wisdom and understanding and knowledge and things like that and of course they are black women because i'm black that's why they are black women because i'm black and you know other things but i'm not gonna voice those opinions but because i'm black and so 
and really you know i i love just being able to draw and create sketches about black women for black women you know i want to draw for any race but especially black women because i am one and you know i know that it's quite hard finding like drawings of us or you know just i i want to i want to help add to that genre of things so yes that is wisdom please let me know what you thought i hope you did enjoy if you did please kiss me with the like button please comment what you thought wisdom was anything you would like for us to draw on the channel excuse me please comment that as well if you would like to show off your work please tag me in instagram or tiktok at dohi summer i will look at your work i will repost or you know show it on my story because i i just want to see what you come up with and what you create I'm, I'm excited to see like what people create um and yeah like i said remember it's your life okay do what makes you happy because your happiness is the first and most important thing and honestly if i would have learned that lesson when i was younger i feel like my life would be immensely different but at the same time i am grateful that it took me this long to realize the things that i did because it's sinking in now but if i can help anybody like avoid the hardships and just what i went through i would tell you chase your dreams because they are yours and even when you feel scared and even when you feel like you don't belong you do you belong in that room you belong there with those people you are not less than and you are not beneath anybody so live your best life and live it to the fullest until next week please always remember oh please subscribe please hit the notification bells for more i post other content go check it out on my channel i think we got like two more weeks and then great things i draw will be back on a break until i finish up my podcast but i'll let you know so until next time the lord does love and bless you may he keep you i love you and i hope whenever you view this you have an incredible day or an amazing night goodbye guys